viewer request, I have started some videos now on algebraic fractions. And in this video, part one, I'm going to be looking at adding and subtracting algebraic fractions. Now, there's two things that we need to be aware of. Basically, the way that I'm going to show you how to add and subtract algebraic fractions is exactly how I would teach you to add and subtract normal fractions. And this is demonstrated in my video of adding and subtractions, fractions with a book, which I'll include in the comment section at the end if you want that first of all. Um, this other part here becomes more relevant when it's a subtraction, but we'll talk about that in a moment. So, what I'm going to do first of all, before I start on the actual algebraic fractions, and I'm just going to show you it with an adding and a subtraction of a normal fraction. So, the way I done this in the previous videos was to draw a boot on the left foot. So, for those of you who remember, some people use kiss and a smile, and that's also okay. But what I done was I, I drew a boot on the left foot, and I times both of these by the toe. So, you're times in 5 by 3 and 7 by 3. So it becomes 15 over 21. I write my plus sign and then I draw a boot on the other foot. So it goes on this way. And I times both of these by the toe, which is 7. So it becomes 14 over 21. And then when we add them together, it becomes 29 on the top and 21 on the bottom. And then obviously in those ones that can simplify because we've got one 20, uh, would be one whole and then there's a remainder of eight. Now we don't actually have to do it quite like that with algebraic fractions. It's, it's probably a little bit easier in some respects. We've got a subtraction one here and we'll just do exactly the same thing. So we draw the book. So if you remember from the video, you just multiply both of these numbers by that number there at the toe. So the top becomes 15 and the bottom becomes 20. So both of these are multiplied by the term on the, the bottom right. And then I do the negative sign and then I put my boot on the other foot. So I multiply both of these by 4. So on the top it's 4 and on the bottom it's 20. And that just becomes 11 over 20, because 15 take away 4 is 11. So, now that we've had a quick recap on normal fractions, I'm going to apply this to algebraic fractions. So this example, we can do it exactly the same way. So I just put, so we've got x plus 2 over 5, plus x minus 3 over 7. So again, I just draw the book on the left foot. And I multiply everything here by the toe, which is 7. So I can write 7 bracket x plus 2. And it's going to be over 35 on the bottom. And then I'd write the plus sign and then repeat on the, the right hand side. So multiplying both of these by the 5, because I times in them by the toe. So it's 5 bracket x minus 3 over 35. And then what I do is I just multiply these out. So we've got 7x plus 14, I'll make this one, and then over 35 plus, and we've got 5x take away 15 over 35. And then when we put those together, we can just do 7x plus 5x, which is 12x. And then positive 14, take away 50, is negative 1. So it's negative 1 over 35. And that is our first question. So this example, the only difference here is that we have a negative in the middle. And the only difference here, so we're doing exactly the same thing, but... When we go through this, at the end, the negative in the middle changes the last sign. So that will probably make sense as we go through the question. So first thing we do is we draw a boot on the left foot. Again, multiplying both of these by 2. So it's 2 bracket x minus 6 
over 8 and we have the takeaway sign and then we draw the boot on the right hand foot and it's going to be 4 bracket x plus 5 over 8. So we can still multiply out the brackets so we have 2x take away 12 over 8 take away and it's going to be 4x plus 20 over 8 but this negative in the middle as it says here changes the last sign so whatever this is it changes to the opposite so it's going to become a negative and when we put it all, we can just work it out by putting the top line all together. So we have 2x and we're taking away 4x. So we actually have negative 2x. And then we have negative 12 and we're taking away 20. So negative 12 take away 20 is negative 32. And the whole thing would be over 8. And what we can actually do with that one is we can actually divide through by 2. So it would be negative x take away 16 over 4. Thank you for your answer. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to give you an example of every type that you could get. I'm going to do another one. In this example, what we have is we have the numbers in the top and then the algebraic terms on the bottom. So don't panic, it's really not that much different. Again, we just draw the boot. What's maybe a good idea is to maybe draw a bracket around each of the bottom terms, like this. And we're doing what we've done before, multiplying both of these terms by this term. So we have 6 bracket x minus 1 on the top. And then what we can do on the bottom, people often panic about this, you do not have to multiply out the brackets. So you can just write them beside each other underneath, and that counts. So x minus 4 and x minus 1. So that's basically times multiplying both of these terms by x take away 1. I'll then write plus and then I draw the boot on the other foot. So we've got plus and this times we're multiplying both of these terms by the bottom left. So it's 7 bracket x take away 4. And then once again on the bottom in order to multiply these terms, we can just write them as brackets next to each other. So we have x take away 4 and x take away 1. And then we can multiply out the brackets on the top line. So we have 6x take away 6 over x take away 4, x take away 1. Plus, and then we have 7x take away 28 over x take away 4, x take away 1. And then we just combine the top terms. So we've got 6x take away 6, add 7x take away 28. So we're going to have 13x. And then we've got negative 6 and we're taking away 28. So it's going to be negative 34. And we put that over x take away 4, x take away 1, and that's the final answer. I'm going to do one more example. So this time, we have our fourth and final example. So as usual, we draw the boot. So we've got like this. So it's a subtraction this time. So as previously discussed, we multiply both of these terms by the bottom right, or the toe. So on the top, we're going to have 7 bracket x plus 2 and then on the bottom we can just write both of these terms in brackets so to multiply these terms we can just write them next to each other in brackets a bit like having brackets that you don't actually have to multiply out so that's the left side done then I put my subtraction sign and draw the boot on the other foot and multiply both of these terms by the toe. So we have 1 times 4x minus 1. And on the bottom we have 4x take away 1. 
and x plus 2. Now the only thing that we have to know at this time is this part here where a negative in the middle will change the last sign. So ultimately this sign is going to become a plus. But we'll multiply out the brackets first of all. So we've got 7x plus 14 over 4x take away 1, x plus 2, and then we've got take away and that's going to be 4x. And we could just really say it's going to become plus 1 ultimately over 4x take away 1 and then we just simplify so we've got 7x we've taken away 4x so we get 3x and then we've got positive 14 and we add on 1 so we have positive 15 and then on the bottom we have 4x take away 1 and x plus 2 now, I hope this has been helpful. Please like, please subscribe, and please feel free to suggest any other maths videos you would like to see. This has been part one of the algebraic fractions. In the next set, I'm going to look at multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions. And again, that's going to use the same skills that we learned in multiplying and dividing fractions in my other video. So I'll put a link to this video in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.